Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I have recently had some requests to show how I do the sectioning, splitting, kitting thing. So I'm gonna do it real quick. So up top I have 50 centimeters. It's just about 50 and a, or 49 and a half. Let me double check that measurement. Yeah, it's a little over 50, 49 and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, measure to 24 and a half. So that's right about this uh, flower thing up top. So let us do that. So basically what I do is I, I cut it and I section it with washi tape. Um, and the reason I do this is because I find it easier for pieces that are up close like this to work in larger sections. In scenes, I do prefer to work in about a size of a release paper um, sections. So that is my preference for scenes, but that's because I find there's a lot more confetti and I miss a lot more when I uh, don't do it in small sections and then I have to just keep taking the same color out anyway so what's the point so I cut it right down the middle and then I put washi tape on the other side of it oh geez let me tell you about the materials you'll need uh, first of all canvas some scissors measuring tape if you want to be precise and I use two different types of washi tape I find that this uh, thicker glitter washi tape is a more sturdy option for the sectioning and this is more of a uh, find the piece of the top type uh, washi tape for me. So I typically section my canvases with two washi tapes. You can use one. That is definitely not a requirement to have two. That's just my preference. I like the thicker washi tape for this part and I like the thinner washi tape for um, the sectioning. So I wish I would have made that a little bit longer, but it's fine. So now I'm going to split these two sections in half as well. So I'm going to go about 12 centimeters, which is right there. Does that look even? Yep. So we'll go from there down. And you want to try to make it as straight as possible so you don't have any... Uh, drill slots half in the section and half out. I mean, it's not important that you get it perfect because, you know, I mean, we're diamond painting. We're not doing surgery. So <laughs> it is all right to have it a little off center. I just prefer to try to make it as close to perfect as possible. Okay, that is that side done. I should do this on camera more often because it is taking me no time at all to section this. Usually takes me significantly longer. Bear with me. I'm going to scoot you over so you can see this side. Once again, taking my measure tape, measuring tape and going about 12 centimeters. Perfect right there. I like this slip cover. This is my first TSA that I am doing. I love this uh, clear plastic cover. This is, um, it's it's gripping my canvas better a lot, or it's gripping my tape better, or the tape is gripping it better, however you want to say it. I'm finding that I appreciate the stickiness from the washi tape on this one as opposed to um, a Mystical Diamond Arts, which doesn't really uh, agree with the washi tape, so. That is definitely a plus because this is my preferred method to section. Okay. And once again, I'm just going to do a piece right next to it. As close to perfection as possible once again. So I can get them pretty even. Oh, my tripod is in my way. Okay, so 
that is complete. Now I put a top on it, so to speak. Okay, okay so um, the reason I do it in sections like this is because this is about how large I like to go for my strips. So if I'm working in this section and then once I finish this section, all I will do is I will take the washi tape off of it and move it down. This way we are conserving washi tape and we are uh, not being wasteful. But that is my preference. You can certainly uh, do the strips all the way to the bottom. That is perfectly fine and it's up to you. So now I'm going to scooch you back a little bit. All I'm going to do now is put a lid on it basically. I'll put a top on it. Now the reason I do this part is because once we get further down, once I start going, um, like if I move down to the second section, it becomes more difficult to find the top part of the plastic to pull up, so I put it like this. And it allows me to get a straighter cut when I go to cut off the plastic. When I finish this section, I will scoot the washi tape down and section it up just like this again, but lower. And I will uh, cut the part that I worked on off. So everything that has was covered before that I finished will, words, all of the plastic that is no longer needed will be cut off I would like to try to save one of these TSA uh, uh, plastic pieces. So I will probably have to try that with the next one. Um, so I will cut the plastic off. Matter of fact, why don't I show you what I will do. This will probably be a two day video in that case. Oh, that's not straight at all. It's fine, doesn't matter. This is not perfection, this is demonstration. So then I sometimes take washi tape, sometimes I take scotch tape, uh, masking tape, whatever. So now, don't mind my uh, garbage. Excuse my chair. Okay, so now I'm going to pull up the plastic, cause an avalanche, we love that. Just gonna peel up Plastic. Oh, that's quite a bit of excess. I might end up washi taping that. That's going to be a problem for me. So I'm just going to peel up the plastic. I can't even see what I'm doing in the viewfinder right now, so hopefully it's right. I'm just going to peel up plastic, and all I'm going to do is cut right down in between the washi tapes. Just like that. Usually I do it a lot more elegantly. There we go. That was a nice one. And then once you get to a certain point, it kind of just splits like, oh, maybe not with this one. Uh-oh, trial and error. That is all right. Pull it up again. Okay, that looks good on there. I'll just put that back down. Since I've got this one up, I will cut in between these pieces here. That works perfectly. I will make sure that this cut is finished here. Okay, so now I'm going to lift these all back up. And make sure I can get them flat and flush to the canvas. Now, now I'm going to just tuck these ends under here because they tend to roll up. Just 
just like that. I just don't like it because of my sweaters. They get the fuzz caught on the tape and then the tape is no longer sticky. So my preference is to just tuck it in. Alright, my ends are tucked in. Now I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do with the extended glue on the sides. Yeah, I'm going to have to take care of that. I can't, I can't leave it because I will inevitably get something stuck to it. Bear with me as I scoot you. Let me move my chair out of the way completely now. Let me grab my other tape. What did I do with it? Here it is. Okay. Let me put that out of the way. There's some washi tape I can use for the sides. This, this. And get some of this stuff put away before I do that though. Okay, I'll throw my garbage away in a minute. Alright, so ooh, I may have to move everything. Alright, let me pause and put the canvas flat. Okay, I have moved that out of the way. Oh, here's my sweater in the way, sorry. So, I'm gonna take our washi tape. Oh, I need to scoot it back a little bit there with me. Ooh, don't drop my Red Bull. I need to go a little bit more back. Okay. Well, nope, that doesn't work either. That's out. There we go. Okay, I feel like that's perfect. So, I'm just going to peel this up on the sides just a bit. Now you can get a full look at the canvas. Oh, hey, don't do that. All right, Red Bull. Do work. Get a full look at the canvas just in case you haven't seen this one before. So this video is going to be a two for one. This is going to be how I prevent sticky on the sides and it's, uh, well, wool on the sides, fuzzies on the sides, and uh, also how to do my method of sectioning a diamond painting canvas. So how's everybody doing today? I'm pretending like we're already having fall weather with my flannel cardigan sweater thing. Begging for fall while working on a summer canvas in our summer event. I just want fall weather. To be clear, I just want fall weather. If y'all can make that happen, that'd be great. Okay, so now I'm just going to, oh, uh, why did I do that? That was probably a bad idea. The condensation may have wrecked it. It's fine. Everything's fine. Mm. It's fine. Okay, so the bottom looks like that too. How does this side look? That side's fine and it's not nearly uh, as much of a problem because I tend to work uh, left to right all the while resting my arm as I go. So that's not a problem. 
Let me check the top real quick. That ain't too bad. Let me see if I have smaller washi tape. Would this be too... If I can get it perfect. All right, so this will be for the bottom. 15 different types of washi tape. Hi, welcome back to my washi tape collection. It's ridiculous and asinine, and this washi tape doesn't even work. Okay, so let me move the canvas, try not to break my phone and smash it on the ground, try not to drop my camera. Okay. Is my face gonna be in this? Okay, there we go. Now I can be sure that I won't be in it. Okay. So I'm gonna just peel it back up. Just the teeniest, tiniest, well, just kidding, all the way, I guess. All the way, right? Oh, my hair is in my light now. Sorry if you have a shadow. Okay, so that has been removed out of my way. Okay. This washi tape wants to cooperate today. All right. above. Perfect. It's going to work perfectly. Okay. Now I can have that light back. That was, that was a thing that occurred, huh? Okay. Yay. This washi tape is good for something. You know what? <laughs> I don't trust it. So I'm gonna tuck this in too. Good, okay. Now, I think this edge is good. But let me double check it since I've got the little washi tape out anyway. No, this side is perfect. Okay. Oh no, I think I might have put it too tight. This washi tape is kind of stretchy, which is good and bad. Well, now it's not so good because I have a row at the top. <sighs> Come along with me on my journey. Watch me as I struggle and fail and win some and lose some. Allow it just a little bit more slack there. You want it to be a tight fit. You don't want it to be too loose, but having it too tight is also counterproductive. And now I have dyed the top of my canvas paint oh, with this stupid washi tape. I hate this washi tape. I hate this washi tape. I Google searched uh, thin glitter washi tape. I was looking for something a little thinner than this, but I, I didn't anticipate it being that small. That's fine though. Okay, so I think I'm done with this crap washi tape. This crap tape, that's what we'll call it, crap tape. And now we're gonna go to the bottom, so bear with me once more as I move you twice. Sorry about that. Oh, let me stretch my back while I'm up, okay. I believe all this tape, except for the skinny tape, is scotch. And all of these ones I got off Amazon. Oh, where'd my Red Bull go? Where'd you go, Red Bull? You got a job again. Mm. You like how I said that was a bad idea and I do it again? Right. I'm sure this looks weird, having washi tape on three sides, but not the fourth, but... <laughs> It's fine. Okay, once again, just gonna get it as flush to the line as possible. 
I'm going to do it slow so I don't do it too tight. Good thing about this glue in particular on this canvas is it is very sticky, which I have not yet. Oh, what are you focusing on? That's not helpful. What is it that you're focused on? Is that better? There you go. Sorry about that. Um, I have not diamond painted on this glue, but I can tell you for sure that it, it holds the washi tape in place uh, a lot better than some of the canvases that I have worked on. So that's good. I'm trying to straighten it up a little bit. I don't want it to overlap, but I don't want it to be too underlapped. <laughs> I don't want too much of the white showing because the white is where the glue is. Perfect. Good. All right. So this canvas officially has four different types of washi tape on it. So that's fun. Should I put a, a layer of washi tape down anyway? Yeah, it's a little it's a little overlapping on that side. So I'm gonna do that. This way it's all four sides. Another sip of Red Bull so we can get it done. I need to be sponsored by Red Bull. <laughs> Red Bull, sponsor me. I'm energized by Red Bull. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to get it back the way I had it. Sorry about the tripod being in the way. My Apple, oh, what did I get? Is that an email or a text message? I think it's an email. I'm not sure. Okay, was it something important? It wasn't even my phone. <laughs> It was my fiance's work phone. That's also an iPhone. All right. I'll pull this strip up and back. If you are looking for a quick, concise video, that is not this one. If you are, however, looking for how I washi tape up a canvas, you certainly have come to the correct place. All right, hoping that stays good. There, can you see this? No, you can't. There you go. Nope. There you go. Nope. There you go. Okay. So I am going to get really close once again. The tape is having a harder time sticking because the glue is not overlapped as much up here. So I'm just going to start where the glue becomes a problem. Okay, start from the end then. That's what I'll do. That's probably a better bet. Am I in the way? Is my hair hanging in the way? Sorry if it is. Canvas is sticky, so that is very good. I'm hoping because this is only 24 colors, I'll whip through this one quickly. Oh, I've had some people comment on that sound, um, the water sound. It's actually my spoiled cat's water dish. 
Uh, my cat refuses to drink out of a water bowl like a regular cat. He is a spoiled baby. Therefore, he requires a water fountain. And unfortunately, for those of you who it bothers, I cannot turn it off because if I turn it off, I more than likely will forget to turn it back on. Therefore, Kitty has no water. So, I am sorry if that bothers you, but Kitty needs water. So, and plus, anytime I film a video, I don't know how long it's going to be. It could be five minutes, it could be ten years, you know? So, I'm going to go ahead and tuck this end back in down here. Um, I might put a little piece of washi tape on the top to secure both of the little top pieces. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Just a little tiny bit. Yeah, because that's already trying to go away. There we go. Perfect. All right. Thank you for watching this uh, long video. I hope that you enjoyed learning how I personally kit up my up-close pictures. Like I said, our scenes, my scenes, not our scenes, my scenes I do a little bit differently. Um, unless it's like a lot of color blocking, I typically go in about the size of a release paper and I work like that because I cannot do, like I'm working on, what am I working on right now? I don't know. I can't even tell you. Um, I'm working on a scene right now that's just, it's so much confetti and, and the color is so sporadic that I'd rather just work in small sections. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you like me and would like to see more from me, please hit subscribe. I would be, let me move this out of the way for I cause a disaster. I would be so happy to have you. All right, guys, I hope that you are being safe, washing your hands, and taking care of yourselves. Bye, guys.